Source time. I feel it. A wild car. Ice in my veins. Flowing from a frozen heart like mead from the horn. Solstein, land of ice. Nordheim, the place where we belong. Land of Draugr, and the ruins of our proud past, cut short by the Dunder. There are still men of honor who will guard the spirit of this land when the hunter comes. Solstein, tomb of the Snow Prince. Perhaps mine as well. Stand up. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? All right. Welcome well, to not even the last Blood Moon at Level Dreaming. One Challenge. I heard them say we've reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. Quiet. Here comes the guard. This is where you get off. Come with me. Alright. So this is not an original idea. I'm not the first person to do this, nor will I be the last. I was convinced to do it by watching Mickey D's excellent series where he uh, goes to Blood Moon at level one and tries to survive. So I'm looking at doing the same thing. This is where they want you. Head down but, to the uh, dock and I'll show you to the census office. may have taken a step or two to make it look a little nicer. You finally arrive, but our records don't show from where. So going through, realistically, I think as far as it goes, a red guard would be the absolute best race to take this on. But it just doesn't feel right going to Solstheim as Redguard, so we are going to be a Nord. Immune to Frost, excellent. A lot of enemies use Frost. Resist Shock. Woad is actually super useful. Thunderfist, not so much. Now, I'm going to be doing some weird stuff as far as my class goes, but I get a bunch of combat bonuses. We're going to go through. We're going to select our guy. all kinds of great options here. That face looks good. I think I'm going to change the hair to There we go. What a fine individual. So we are going to name ourselves Kyol. Kyol Waveborn. Nord, exiled to Morrowind. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office and they'll finish your release. Let's now go in and talk to our man Sokushis here. He's going to ask us to pick a class. I could follow the questions, I could pick from the list, but we're uh, going to make yes, our own. yes, we've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. 
So we're going to be doing some very weird stuff when it comes to our class. Um, so you would think as a Nord, we would want all of our combat skills real high. I am going to not do that. So the very first skill we want is Conjuration. Conjuration is going to get us a Bound Dagger, which beginning game is huge. That'll give me a plus 10 weapon skill and make it real easy to hit. Um, it'll also let me summon a ghost, which I can use as a sparring partner. So a lot of Blood Moon is going to be inventory management and just making sure that I can grind up skills. Being able to summon a ghost means I can hit it with normal weapons and just train my skills up without leaving safety. Um, because we went with that Conjuration, we also want Short Blade. That'll let us use the Bound Dagger effectively. We're going to want Marksman. Marksman is going to be great for keeping foes at a distance until we can close in and get them with our Short Blade. Block is essential. As well as Heavy Armor. So Block will let us negate attacks when they come in. That's going to be huge. I want that. Heavy Armor will let us soak damage. Um, ideally, I would like to keep these in my miscellaneous skills so that I can train them up. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is dumping a lot of the combat skills in there and kind of a mix of other things so that I can sort of choose how I level up. Um, minor skills, we want restoration. That'll give us a healing spell right off the bat. Hand to hand, because hand to hand is absolutely broken and if we decide to become a werewolf, we're gonna want hand to hand. Alteration, gives some very good starting spells. Speechcraft, and Mercantile. Those two are here because I'm not gonna really have any way to train them up from real low. They're sort of here, mostly to force all the other stuff into my miscellaneouses. Specialization is going to stay combat. I want to get that bonus to everything that's sitting in my miscellaneous. It's going to be very hard to train up something like Blunt Weapon or Axe if I don't have any skill with it. Favorite Attributes. We're going to want Intelligence, which is already selected. And we're going to go with Luck. Luck is very hard to level up, and it does have an, a little bit of influence on everything you do. So, there we are. We're not going to be an adventurer. We are going to be a Vitki. According to Google, that is the Viking way to say sorcerer. Very good. The letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And what would that be? Um, as far as birth signs go, there's exactly one that you can choose, and it's the lady. Personality and endurance, 25 points. Nothing beats it. Some of the others have useful powers, but this is what will let us survive long term. Interesting. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. Kjol Waveborn. A Nord. He is a Vitki, born under the sign of the Lady. He's got 50 health, 40 magicka, and 195 fatigue. And then a few stats down here. 75 endurance, which is huge. We want that. It means that every time we level up, our health is going to go up. 50 luck is a good base because it'll basically add to every single other one of these. Personality, I don't care about that much. But it's nice to have it at 55 in case we need to make skill checks. The only thing that's a bit rough is my agility. And actually, I think I'm going to... Fill out the forms yourself. I think I'm going to swap luck for agility. 30 is way too low for that. Alright, so 40 luck, 40 agility. That's a lot better. Uh, that'll affect my chance to hit and not get knocked down. So nothing below 40, 50 strength, 75 endurance, and 55 personality. Excellent. Show your papers to the captain when you exit to get your release fee. So I have my release identification. We will Continue head out through the door. to the next building and talk to Salas Gravius. Learn to do 
combat. Or we could skip that. We've got a boat to catch. Got a map menu. Get the ring. And through the door. This guy is going to give us missions. We are going to ignore them. More importantly, he gives us almost enough gold to catch the boat. Got Fargo Hello. here. I don't know if I'm I not going to give him the you, ring. But, uh, I think I'm going to follow the little pop advice. I'm going to go straight to a rill here. buy the engraved ring of healing and you can have everything for Kai's Crusades. I don't want it. That it is, is not my destiny. You. So we're gonna make our way down. Gonna run over. Over to the Silt Strider. Greetings, Outlander. Do you seek my services? Take the Silt Strider over Where the would you like to go? And then we will catch the boat. I am not fast. Look at this brisk jog. Oh, hey, a note. Is it Lock and Island? Interesting. Sounds like a problem for later. We are eventually going to do it. The plan Hurry. is, once we beat the Blood Moon expansion, we'll go to Lock and Island. Until the next one. <laughs> All right. Now, we're going to take the boat. I could travel there. We'll make special deal. Yes. So I think what we're going to do instead is we're going to wait a few hours. Get ourselves a nice, beautiful day. And we're gonna take the boat to Fort Frostmoth. Goodbye, Vardenfell. I hardly knew ya. We're on our way, sailing to adventure. Those rocks are getting kind of close. Look at that, the open ocean. Nothing as far as the eye can see. It's a very pretty morning. Look at those Daedric ruins. Good thing I don't have to deal with any of that. There it is. Island of Solstheim. This is going to be our home. We cannot leave. It's gorgeous. A 
bird. Hi, bird. I may have to hunt you for meat. Alright. May the wind be on your back. And here we are. Hello, Helmer. What do you got? Where do you travel to? Ah, know where I want to go. Excellent. And, in the true spirit of this challenge, come right on board this boat here. I'm just gonna drop all the gold I got left. I'm gonna keep my clothes. Not about that life. Move the boat. My first order of business is going to be finding a spot to set up shop and getting as much gear as I can from the start. Ooh, this has a bunch of weapons. That's good. Got a small supply of basic weapons. Oh, these ones are owned though. That's a change. Speak up. I move so slow with all this stuff. All right, so I have to figure out which weapons I want to keep and which ones I want to sell. I think I want to keep at least one long blade. I definitely want to keep the arrows. I don't really care that much about any of the other stuff. Saber's pretty good. Claymore is real good. My axe skill is only 20. Like someone who buys things. Uh, what do you want? It's Captain Carius. He's in the chambers of the fort. Head to the general quarters. Oh. Oh. He won't talk to me. Oh. Well, I guess I'm gonna drop a bunch of stuff here and sell it later. Speak freely, friend. Right, that's 
that's the shrine, so I'm assuming those are the general quarters on the exact opposite side. Can you tell me anything? Uh, Alright. I kind of forgot about this. Obviously, soldiers have the ability to be among the best. Solstheim is not the easiest place, though. Sometimes it makes men edgy. Uh, difficult post. Soldiers separated from families. Most of the men were sent to this island as punishment for past offense. So, in other words, it's four foil criminals. They are not the best of soldiers. Uh, they perform their duties adequately, but lately some disturbing trends. Morale has been low. Okay. If I can I trust. Have you learned anything? Literally, I haven't left. Oh, okay. I asked you to investigate why. Okay, this is Have good. Have you learned anything? This uh, sounds pretty awful, but I'm gonna loot everything that's not nailed down. Well, where do I get a drink? Is there a... I'm assuming there's not a bar. Alcoholics. Uh, let's see, this is the other guy I was told to talk to. Uh, not him. You? Maybe? What can I do for you? Frost mob. These rumors. These wolves and bears. Advice. Sometimes it's worth killing a berserker just to get the weapon. Growl? Oh, he has literally nothing to tell me about them. Uh, morale has been low. Okay. Hmm. So he's got yes. nothing to say. What can this humble priest? is talking mad smack about my culture. I don't care about the Nine Divines. Missionary work. Oh, she never returned? I will look for her. It's been over a month, though, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my time. Alright. Uh, so that guy says they're deprived of all luxuries. I know I need to find them alcohol, I just don't know where. Maybe 
need someone to need armor in the time. Want something, friend? stuff on here. Say they want to drink. Maybe I'll go back to Carnius. Carius? Someone. Speak freely, friend. Door. Speak freely, friend. Just random guards everywhere. I think I'm back where I need to be. Yes. Awesome. Right, will you tell me anything else? We're almost below. Friends. I asked you to investigate why the morale has been low in the fort. Have you learned anything? Gotta have liquor, right? Liquor. Gold. Always useful. Ah. Of course you do. Holy 
these books. These are worth a lot of money. Alright. Should have known that this guy had some. Won't let any of his troops have liquor. He's just got a whole bottle of it. Right on the shelf. This is going to be tiresome. Expand low. Imagine if the lack of alcohol might have some effects on morale, but I didn't ever actually ban it. Personally, I didn't even care about it. It was the priest. Oh. Shipment stopped coming in. our staircase, buddy. Okay, so the priest says that the captain puts the ban on alcohol. The priest isn't bad for a priest. Keeps an office upstairs from the armory. Could be anywhere. Seems to understand our soldiers pretty well. It's something the other day it seemed unfair and the captain to cut us off from the drink. Uh, that's weird. Pretty sure the priest is the one who's doing it. No, but this is a nice little setup. Maybe I'll set up base up here. Desk. Topography. Hmm. There's alcohol over here. Oh, I need a key? Wonder. Hmm. Huh. It's a 
desk. I can't open the desk. There's a closet. I guess this is going to be our challenge going forward. We have to figure out a way to open this closet. I think this is where I'm going to call it for now. It's uh, not a very exciting end to the episode. But what I'm going to do in the meantime, until I can find out where the key is, is I'm going to steal every single thing that is not nailed down, and I am going to sell it. So until next time. <laughs>